Come on. When I first met Wally, he had been in the big leagues and came down to AAA. So um, I saw how intense he was to get back up to the big leagues, and I never saw anyone in AAA play the way he had played. Most guys played where they're trying to get themselves better, uh, but he was just on a mission to get back into the big leagues, and uh, sort of how he played. He was on a mission. Every single day he went out there. Uh, he was always the smallest guy on the field with the biggest heart, and uh, it was a pleasure playing with him. It just... Um, no, he, he inspired everybody because if, that, if he could play that hard, why couldn't everyone? Well, I saw him in Lancaster. He's in Lancaster, and uh, I saw him for a couple of days when he was uh, down there. And uh, he just, um, I don't know, he, he was just a natural. He just seemed like a natural. He, uh, he had that uniform on. And, you know, like all of us, he's a little pudgier than he was as a player, but he looked so comfortable in that uniform, looked like he belonged in it. And, and you know, if, I see a lot of players all the time that I say to myself, you know, that person's going to be a lifer. And that's very rare now because of the money the guys make. But I always thought Wally would be a lifer. I think as far as uh, managing, I think uh, it's a hard thing sometimes because uh, if you're really intense, sometimes those really intense managers don't make the best managers because they... You know, can, can be too hard on their players, but Wally hasn't been. He's, he's great that way. He's used that intensity to try to teach his players how to play, but at the same time, I've seen him with some of his young players, and he has a nice rapport with them. So he's able to communicate uh, that intensity without being so intense that he scares the bejesus out of them. <laughs> Well, my overview is that uh, he had things off the field that uh, uh, they didn't know about, um, that they decided at some point uh, because of public relations with their fans that it was a good thing. Uh, it was it, in their best interest to let Wally go and start new. Uh, and they got themselves a good manager in Bob Melvin, but I think they lost themselves a great manager in Wally Backman. Um, in this day and age where everything is public fodder, uh, it's very uh, disappointing that, uh, that while he didn't get his chance that time, but sometimes uh, things work in magical ways. And maybe uh, going back down to Albany, Georgia, uh, with the team he's working with now, this long road is going to be a, an incredible story. I think he has more intensity, just like as a player. When I talked about he went, was sent down after he was with the big club, he wanted to make it back. I think he's the same right now. He's just reliving it, but just as a manager. And uh, he'll be back in the big leagues. I think, uh, you know, time heals a lot of wounds. And I think uh, some of the things that might have happened in his life that uh, uh, the Diamondbacks uh, weren't happy with will, uh, will be something that will work in his favor because he'll have enough years passed from those events that people will go, hey, listen, he's a good citizen. He works great with kids. He's a great instructor. Why not? I'm it.